Many crime victims never get the chance or the opportunity to tell their story. One North Dakota man is making sure the record surrounding his aunt's murder is set straight. Bella Kraft has been telling us about Larry Crookenberg's quest to tell the whole story of his aunt Alma Crookenberg's 1938 killing at the hands of her pastor, Hayo Janssen. Today she tells us more details that Larry uncovered about Alma's death. 16-year-old Alma Kruckenberg was murdered by her pastor, Reverend Hayo Janssen, almost 86 years ago. The news from the tiny town of Krem shocked not only Mercer County residents, but people worldwide. The horrific story was passed down by families in the area, leading to differing accounts of the incident. That inspired Alma's nephew, Larry Kruckenberg, to correctly tell the story of her life and death in his book, No One Dare Call Her a Liar. Through his research, Larry learned more twists to the tragedy. This is a route Larry Kruckenberg drives often. It's the road that takes him to the cemetery and to his Aunt Alma Kruckenberg's grave. Alma was raped and murdered in 1938. Her pastor, Hayo Janssen, was arrested and confessed to the crime. That's how big a story this was. I mean, this was literally heard around the world. But many details were never made public. Larry spent three years researching to find out more. The research led him to court documents, where he discovered even more details about the story. He says there are allegations Reverend Janssen abused other women throughout his time as a pastor. And then moving out to Marsh, Montana, where uh, another girl disappeared, and it was alleged that he was somehow involved, although that was never proven. Janssen was arrested, confessed, and sentenced to life in prison within four days of the murder of his housemaid. But the loss of Alma still pains the Kruckenberg family generations later. Larry comes to her grave as often as he can, but the grave marker didn't always look like this. Alma's father chiseled the original headstone in German. That was replaced decades later and lost, only to be found a couple years ago by a geocacher in a farm field near Velva. Larry was fortunate to retrieve the original gravestone. I said, this is not what you think it is. I said, we've been trying to figure out what happened to Elma's original tombstone. Now the original marker sits in the Mercer County Museum, along with a display about the family. Larry says this exhibit and his book have helped set Alma's story straight and connect him with the aunt he never got the chance to meet. Well, aside from telling her I loved her, I guess just the fact that I told her story. Elma's story has now been told. She's been buried for over 80 years and uh, Nobody ever knew the whole story. He says finally, Alma's voice is being heard. People now know who Alma was. There is still so much more to this story I wasn't able to share, but Larry's book, No One Dare Call Her a Liar, fills in those blanks. and is available on Amazon if you want to read more.